guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Leila aka Mrs. Chops and on this channel we do lifestyle vlogs we do our motherhood videos marriage we, do, we just do life just we just do life oh and before I get into the video guys a shameless plug shout out to my hairdresser I'm the hairdresser <laughs> I did these looks uh, this yeah, uh, what do they call it gypsy looks by myself guys and i'm so i'm so happy with how they came out but anyway uh we're back in a, again with another sit down video and just judging by the title today we're going to be talking about our building journey this is something that um that's so dear to my heart because guys i am so so thankful to god that I am actually able to sit down here and share with you guys um something like this you know just having a roof of our our head is just it's a blessing it, it's just something that we truly truly um thank god for that we truly thank god for each and every day though uh, our house is not yet at a stage that we would want it to be but just the feeling of it's ours is i cannot explain it <laughs> but anyway guys let's get into it so um we started building our house in 2016 no in 2017 but we acquired the this tent in 2016 in 2016 sorry guys if you see me looking down i have my diary here so i've jotted down a few pointers so that i don't forget anything and i don't uh stray away because i tend to do that <laughs> from what i want to share <laughs> so yeah in 2017 that's when we started building we had bought our stand in 2016 um 2016 and i think end of 2016 that's when we acquired the the land and we finished our paying our last installment in 2017 end of 2017 early 2017 then we started building in 20 in 2017 but in this uh, november december i think just before the gatherings that's when we started um building so in 2017 december i'm just gonna be putting uh pictures over here we only managed to uh to lay down the foundation and um Slab. that's what we did in 2017 december then 2018 i think uh around that time again around october november december we picked up uh, our project again because you have to bear in mind um uh when we we're not getting money like you know uh our incomes uh my husband being a being self-employed uh, he runs his own businesses uh it wasn't something that we could just do kawana one you know what i mean so in 2018 we picked up the project again and we i think from the slab up to window level i think that's what we did uh then we left it like that then 2019 we built it up to warp i don't know is it warp it after the ring beam that other stage like when you're now ready to roof and we left it like, like that then 28 2020 2020 that's when corona hit um 2020 in april and we're like um we cannot continue uh, renting we have to finish uh the house so we can we could move in but our finances are not letting us to finish the house to the standard up to the status that we would have desired to move in in Bayaita, but we were just gonna do something that we which is livable and that's what we did so the plan of our house thank god the plan of our house is it is built in such a way that we could move in into the back rooms and uh, we could even actually we could actually roof uh half of the house and leave the other half as it was as we gather uh more money to finish the house i'll show you how it was when we when we moved in so we just roofed the back of the house then we moved in we didn't even have flooring we didn't have ceilings we didn't have water we didn't have electricity <laughs> oh my god now that i'm talking about it like okay what did you have <laughs> it's 
just going into the house. But yeah, we moved in into our house and it was just it was just a shell basically it was just a shell and yeah it was just a shell it was just sheltering us up from the sun and the and the rains and whatever but it was our house and uh, to tell you i was so excited and i didn't even mind going moving into our house without the floors without without the water without the electricity it was just i'm like I'm going to my house, I'm going to my house and no landlord is going to tell me nothing yet. I was just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in 2020, April, uh, we started uh, making progress into what we wanted to, at least the house to be uh, by the time we moved in. So we eventually moved in uh, August 2020. So August, uh, I think the 30th of August, that's when we moved in. Yeah, I'll put some pictures over here and I'll just see how it was. So uh, in September, starting off September, we moved into our place and yeah, we were there. We were, <laughs> we were here and, you know, so after that in 2020, we just started to make progress as we were living here. We connected um, the electricity, I think two weeks after staying here was um at least the um, what you call tamp i don't know the poles were, were close to and my husband did the things did the things that make the things you know and we connected electricity and we also oh before we moved in the thing that we gave priority um was our bathroom we made sure that the bathroom was at least uh usable you know i'll put i'll put the picture over here so that you can see that uh, i'm just gonna fast forward because i know this video i'm gonna do uh, a lot of parts you know tips and whatever that you can use is <laughs> if you're building or studying on your journey of building uh, you know yeah so we moved in and we connected the electricity in 2020 i think in september and we had now electricity but we still didn't have water we were buying water from one of the guys who supplies us water and guys we were using like uh it's what ten thousand ten to fifteen thousand liters in a month it was just expensive buying water but there's nothing we can we could do because uh marie Yepamuzi is not enough for a bowl anyway um we decided to at least finish up two of the rooms that we're using as our bedrooms my bedroom and the kids bedroom we put flooring in it and we also did our ceilings and now it was a bit comfortable but not as much comfortable but it was a bit comfortable then 2020 um i think end of 2020 that's when we finished the whole uh roofing process the whole house was now roofed and then moving on to 2021 we started uh continuing to do the steel work putting on the windows and the doors on some of the rooms that were still uh, open and we did that then fast forward to uh, still in 2020 we also uh, we also drew a ball in 2020 2021 uh, so water was now was now here and we could you know take showers with lots of water <laughs> not that we are not bathing with bathing of course <laughs> So yeah, you know how it is. But then 2020, now we are in 2022 and our house, we're still making it a home. Um, but it is, it is, we have come far from, from when we moved in to where we are now. I'll just put some pictures over here. We truly thank God. And on the next video, guys, I'm going to share with you, uh, some of the things that we have learned and some of the mistakes that we have did and we have learned from as we started building and as we are building you know going forward that you guys might need to to take heed of but yeah guys that's how it is that's how our house is at the moment uh and we just thank god for for giving us a place to stay and enabling us to to have this house we're truly thankful 
so yeah guys thank you for tuning in to my video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions that you'd want me to share on or shed more light on just put them down below in the comment section and i'll answer them in my next video i'm also going to do a house tour i'm excited about a house tour, guys but i'm just gonna do a house tour in the house as it is because yeah that's how we're living <laughs> anyway guys thank you for tuning in to my um uh, to my youtube channel <laughs> anyway, see you on my next video bye